Hi dear students, so we are coming to our last session on the concept electrophilic addition reaction. Okay, I hope all of you have watched our previous videos on this particular topic. Uh, yeah, so we are coming to our last session. So if you have any doubts, many students ask me doubts actually. So I have cleared it. So if you have still have doubts, you can put it on the comment box. Feel free to ask it. Uh, it's a good platform to learn uh, neat actually. So surely it will help you for NEET exam. Okay. So I always want to do more questions with students. So that will only at the end of the day, it will help students. I can give you n number of motivations that is also possible that we will do some other time. Okay. We will focus on the next 90 days. We have 90 days in front of our NEET exam. We will focus only on doing as many questions, remembering whatever we have learned. Those things will surely help us. Okay, so let's start with the first question. So this time I have created my own questions Four important questions. I feel that is very important for uh, this year's NEET exam. Okay, so we'll try to find out the answers for each of them. Okay, so you have the first question here. Also, you can see a compound uh, with unsaturation between carbon carbon double bond and you are adding an HBr. Okay, so let's see what would be its answer actually now. You can see here again we know we have right now we know all the fundamentals the concept here is again the pi bond is present here here also the benzene ring the pi bond is present but we know it is stabilized through resonance but all together if you see this particular molecule has a negative field negative cloud is present so who will approach the compound h plus the electrophile will first attack where it will attack it will attack the pi bond that is over here then what it will do it will undergo polarization now the question is whether it will polarize like this or it will polarize like this so we know that if it polarizes like this you will get a secondary carbocation which is connected to two other carbon atoms then some students may ask sir uh, if it polarizes in the other way we will get a secondary carbanion right but we know that carbanion stability is one degree greater than two degree greater than three degree and carbocation stability is 3 degree greater than 2 degree greater than 1 degree. So surely it will polarize in such a way that a secondary carbocation is formed. And moreover, in electrophilic addition reaction, carbocation is the intermediate. You know that. Okay. Now what will happen, sir? The H plus will attack the negative charge. And you will get our 2 degree carbocation. It is connected to two other carbon atoms. That's why we say it's a 2 degree carbocation. Now check for the possibility of rearrangement. I know that if this positive uh, comes over to this particular carbon, I will get a tertiary carbocation. But now comes the question, sir, we have a methyl group with a pair of electrons. Hydrogen can come with a pair of electrons and even phenyl group can come with a pair of electrons. Sir, who will do the shifting here? Now comes the most important question. Sir, can you tell me the order or who will have the higher tendency of shifting? Please remember the order. Whenever hydrogen with a pair of electrons is there, that will have the highest tendency to undergo shifting. Next comes phenyl group. So I can say the next one is phenyl carbanion. Then comes CH3 minus. This is my order. So always whenever hydrogen with a pair of electrons are there, always hydrate shift happens. If phenyl groups are there with a pair of electrons, then phenyl shift happens. Then CH3 group is not only present, then CH3 with uh, this methylide shift will happen. Hope you understood. Now, here, here I can, as I told you, hydrogen with the pair of electrons, which is a strong nucleophile, will migrate to carbon with a positive charge. So, what will happen? This carbon loses the positive charge and there is a vacancy cleared uh, created here so it becomes the carbocation now i can say this is stabilized through resonance there are uh, three alpha hydrogen here here two alpha hydrogen so through five alpha hydrogen through stabilization through hyperconjugation, this is highly stable now what will happen our nucleophile will attack the compound correct so we can see here the nucleophile which is nothing but my br minus will attack the positive charge Correct. So you will get my compound A. You can see here the compound A is created here. I hope you understood. What can be the name given to this particular compound? Can you tell me the name, sir? So I can say this is my parent chain. This would be my parent chain. So what can be the name of the compound? Can you tell me the name? Hmm? So I can say here in the second number, if you number it, I can say this would be one. 
and this would be 2 this would be 3 and this would be 4 correct okay now what can be the name sir let me write the name also for you so that you can maybe questions can come like that as well uh, let me make it a little small yeah one minute we can make it small yeah so what is the name of this compound i can say 2 bromo 2 phenyl so alphabetically bromo will come so i can say 2 bromo okay 2 phenyl whenever benzene behaves like a substituent we use the term phenyl 2 phenyl parent chain has four carbon atoms connected through single bond we say butane okay this would be my name of this particular compound i hope it is clear for you hmm? so can we switch to next question yeah so the next question b part of the question is like this the you can ask me sir what is the difference the only difference is instead of hydrogen i introduced another ch3 group here why i want to confuse the students during rearrangement they need to think whether ch3 will migrate with a pair of electrons or phenyl will migrate those students who know that phenyl will have a higher tendency of migration than ch3 minus or i can say the phenyl carbanion is a stronger nucleophile than ch3 minus that is the reason why it is moving very fast understood yeah so i can say the first step looks the same h plus it will go and attack the pi bond so it will undergo polarization now you know how the polarization happens so it will move to here negative charge will come and positive charge will come so that its secondary carbocation is formed next what will happen sir h plus will attack the negative charge and you get the first carbocation intermediate but i know this can further undergo rearrangement now comes the question sir whether ch3 with pair of electrons will move there or the phenyl with a pair of electrons will move there so please understand here phenyl shift will occur phenyl shift will occur and you will get a compound like this this phenyl with a pair of electrons will migrate together to this particular carbon so you will get a carbocation which is also three degree in nature connected to three other carbon atoms and it is stabilized through seven alpha hydrogen now some students may come and ask a doubt sir if ch3 is migrating this positive charge would be stabilized by this benzene right then why still happens this so that's why we say this step according to this is a kinetically controlled step because this is having the phenyl group with a negative charge have higher mobility towards a positive charge but ch3 with the uh, negative charge has a lesser mobility so some students say thermodynamically or i can say thermally based on stability i can say the other one but please understand this is what usually happens okay a kinetically controlled product will be formed here kinetically controlled means based on the movement okay the based on the velocity with which the nucleophile moves and attacks the positive charge now what will happen sir now i can say in the next step the cl minus will my attack the positive charge and you will get the product like this so can you tell me the product name i can say this is my parent chain longest possible chain i should choose so this would be my parent chain hop okay and i can number it uh, i can number it here so if i number it like this one this should be two and this should be three this should be four why i am going from left to right because there are two substituents here so i can say chloro methyl and phenyl lmnop so i can say two chloro two chloro okay then two methyl two methyl tell me sir two methyl three phenyl 3 phenyl then 4 carbon atoms so you say butyl hope you understood clear now i told shifting now it's a topic actually shifting occurs fastly for those groups which are good electron donors electron donors are good nucleophiles correct so i told you already already h minus is a very strong nucleophile then comes phenyl carbanion then ch3 minus and if I compare these three, four groups, I can easily say here, three CH3 groups are connected to here and the electron density over here due to plus I effect would be very high. So this is a very good electron donor. Then this one, then comes this one and then comes this one. 
okay so it's very easy to remember how on what basis the shifting occurs now comes the third question for you it's also a very simple question but it can come for the exam so here again you have a pi bond here hi is given so hi will undergo heterolytic fission so h plus will first attack the pi bond now comes the question in what way it will polarize again i have ex explained this question somewhere i hope this is very important i am explaining it again so if it polarizes like this i can think like positive charge is coming here and there is a possibility of migration of this positive charge to here so that it can become more stable carbocation with that intention i have polarized it like this now what will happen h plus will attack the negative charge and you get a carbocation initially like this now i know that here if you look at this particular carbon there is a ch3 and a hydra hydrogen with a pair of electron so surely hydride shift will happen this whole thing will migrate to this carbon okay hydride shift will occur and a positive charge comes here now i can easily say the i minus will attack here and you will get a compound like this so what is the name of this compound i can easily say one i uh, methyl and iodine a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o correct so i can say iodo i forget this so one iodo one methyl cyclohexane that is the name of this compound okay now let's go to the most important question for neat 2024 so this is what i am expecting for neat okay 2024 okay uh, yeah so because the same question appeared for jee mains with the peroxide here so i am expecting here with the normal markovnikov's addition for neat okay so here h2o is present we know that h2o will undergo ionization h plus and oh minus who will approach the pi bond sir h plus will approach the pi bond this will undergo polarization again a question comes in what way it will polarize sir so if i polarize like this then i will get a positive charge here thinking that if a carbocation shift or a my migration happens the positive charge will move to here and it becomes a tertiary carbocation making it more stable so in that intention i have done the polarization in this direction now what will happen h plus will attack the negative charge and you will get a compound like this now we know that when i look at this particular carbon there is a hydrogen because only three valencies are present the, so the fourth valency should be hydrogen with a pair of electrons so what it will happen it will move to this particular carbon as part of hydride shift now the positive charge comes here now you know that this is my alpha carbon this is my alpha carbon and this is also my alpha carbon so there are two alpha hydrogen another two alpha hydrogen a three hydrogen is here present so totally three plus two five plus two seven alpha hydrogen is making this system highly stable okay next what will happen sir oh minus the nucleophile will attack the positive charge and you will get my final product which is this one can you name it anybody so i can easily say here my parent chain would be this one any doubt now since it is located centrally i can uh, start numbering from any direction okay let me number it from here then one this is two this is three this is four and this is five so tell me the sir what is the name of this compound i can easily say this is three methyl okay 3 methyl parent chain has five carbon atoms so i can say pent and they are connected through single bond i can say pentan and at the third position you have the second degree suffix alcohol so pentan 3 all so this is the name of this particular compound i hope you enjoyed uh, the entire session on electrophilic addition reaction again i am telling those students who missed out other sessions you can go to brainiac's classes okay subscribe the channel go to the playlist there you can see brainiac's daily capsule there you can find the co electrophilic addition reaction videos in five consecutive days okay thank you i hope all of you have enjoyed our classes so we are next day we will come with the next topic that is nucleophilic addition reaction so i am i will give you a guarantee that if you listen to my videos and questions that's for it for organic chemistry that's it and for physical chemistry we will start it afterwards so chemistry i can guarantee you more than 160 it's my word you can you watch it you take down the notes that's it you are going to score more than 160 thank you